Dude, that could have been a triple! I... Wait, what the fuck? What the fuck is going on with my dude's hand, hello? Alright, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Call of Duty Vanguard. The beta this time. We're here on the early access beta. I'm playing on PS5, which I'm told is apparently like way better than PS4. PS4 apparently is having like all kinds of problems and shit. I got no idea what the fuck's going on with that, to be honest. But yeah, we're here day one. As you can see, I've been playing a good bit. I'm already level 11. And I've been mostly sticking with the sniping. As you can see, I've got the main sniper here up to level 24. I haven't really used any other guns. Most of the levels I have in things like the STG here, they just come from me like picking them up off the ground. Now off the rip, before I get into anything else, I do want to say on the whole, I am having an absolute blast with this beta. I think it's really good. Honestly, I'm beyond impressed with what Sledgehammer's put together this year. I'll get into some of like the specifics of what I like in a little bit, but I just want to add that at the beginning because there's probably also going to be a good bit of complaining in this video because there's a number of things in this beta that I really don't like and I'm hoping that they fix for release. But I just wanted to say that up front because on the whole, Despite all of that, I am having probably more fun with this beta than I definitely did with most of Cold War and probably a good bit of Modern Warfare as well. So yeah, we're just gonna hop into some quick play here and get started. And while we're searching here, if you do enjoy this video, definitely be sure to leave a like. And if you're new and you haven't yet, then subscribe for more Vanguard content. So yeah, like I was saying, there's a lot of things in this beta that I like, also a lot of things that I don't like. Starting with this right here, which granted is a beta specific thing, but it's still a problem. They don't let you pick what you search for in quick play. So as you can see right there at the bottom, it says tactical pacing six v6, right? This game kind of changed up the formula. Rather than having like 6v6 being just your normal mode and then having like a ground war playlist on its own, essentially every map has three versions. You can play a tactical, which is 6v6, assault, which I think varies between 10v10 and 12v12, depending on the map, and then blitz, which is 14 versus 14. So see, like right here, we just got team deathmatch 12v12. Actually, never mind, it's 10v10. It just fucking changes for some reason. But anyway, getting back to my problem with this, you don't get to pick between them for the beta specifically. So basically, you have to do the shoot the ship thing where you, you know, cherry pick for your lobbies and stuff. And I'm assuming because most people are doing this, you get a lot of 6v6 lobbies. And the reason for this is I'm going to say straight up off the rip. 6v6 on this game is some of the worst Call of Duty multiplayer I have ever played in my life. And there's a reason for that. It's not necessarily because the game is badly designed. It's because they specifically seem to have wanted 6v6 to be that like tactical play style that Modern Warfare tried to encourage, you know, kind of slower, kind of campy. You're mounting up, holding corners and shit. Now, if you're somebody that enjoys that play style, go for it, man. 6v6 is gonna be your shit. But that's really not what I look for in a multiplayer, so 6v6 just... This year, I'm probably not gonna be playing much of it. However, that being said, 10v10 and 12v12 have been some of the most fun on Call of Duty multiplayer that I have had over the last two years, and this is just the beta. I'm not gonna lie, the biggest mode in particular, I've had some of the funnest games on, man. So really, it's just more of an annoyance than anything else that I can't, like, pick it specifically out of the playlist, you know what I mean? But I'm assuming this won't be a problem when the full game comes out because they kind of made an effort to, like, add advertise this feature, so I'm assuming that we're gonna be able to, like, pick between the three so I can just strictly stay in those playlists once the full game comes out, so that's gonna be fine. The other big thing, and, I mean, you probably saw it a little bit from that gameplay there, the sniping's pretty fucking bad. I know some content creators, like FaZe Kitty, was saying that the sniping feels good, it's just challenging, quote-unquote. I'm gonna come out straight and say it, the sniping fucking sucks. It's awful. Like, it's actually so fucking bad. So, I believe to this point, I have built the fastest versions of the sniper, the one that we have access to, anyway, and the best I seem to be able to do is 490 ADS with the reg scope and 453 ADS with the iron sights, which granted 453 is better than any sniper in Cold War, but it's kind of offset by the fact that the time to kill and like the pacing in this game is much, much faster. So now in fairness, I don't actually know if this is the fastest version of the snipers. For one thing, this might change by the time the game comes out. And also there are some things that don't do what they say they do. Like for example, adding the iron sights, it says right here, there are no pros and cons to it. But if you check the detail, you see that it actually does change change the ADS speed, despite for whatever reason it not saying that it actually does. So we'll see, there might be a faster version of the snipers, but for now this is what I've got, and to be honest, it really doesn't feel very good. I had those like little clips and highlights at the beginning if I remembered to edit them together. So like, it's not impossible to snipe on this game by any means, it's just the play style is very slow. You can't really be too aggressive because not even as far as the ADS is concerned. Oh, hey, nice, I actually managed to get uh, 14v14, thank God. But yeah, it's not so much the ADS speed that hurts you, it's actually the sprint to fire. The sprint to fire on these weapons is so slow, believe it or not. You can be sprinting at somebody, stop sprinting, attempt to ADS, and get all the way in your scope before the game will even let you attempt to shoot. So you can see the iron sights are like a little bit faster here. But yeah, those are like the two main annoyances I have so far. The only other like big one really, which I'm assuming you'll be seeing in this game mode specifically, is uh, the spawns can be pretty jacked up a lot of the time.
Oh my god. Case in point right there, dude. That wasn't even the worst of it. There are gonna be points probably where the game is going to literally spawn me into a group of people or spawn a group of people on top of me. It just does that. Like, the logic for the spawns in this doesn't make any sense. God damn, dude. You die from all directions, man. These maps are chaos. Not that I mind that, though. It is pretty fun. You wind up racking up a lot of kills. It's just, it can be hard sometimes to maintain a decent KD if you're going for like that 2.0, 3.0. Also, another good thing I will say is that this mode, I don't want to necessarily call it new because I don't know if it's returning or not, but Patrol is really fun. I really enjoy it. Hardpoint has been one of my favorite game modes in Call of Duty pretty much ever since they invented it. And this game mode actually solves a lot of problems that Hardpoint can have sometimes. What? Oh, there you go. Case in point right there. Look, it just spawned me into their entire fucking team. What the fuck is happening? But yeah, if you haven't gotten to play it yet or you haven't like noticed from my gameplay so far, basically it's hard point, but the point is like constantly moving, which is really nice because it fixes a lot of the problems that hard point could have. Like if you think about raid, for example, that one particular hard point on raid in the garage where literally it felt like whoever got to that hard point first just got all the time because there were multiple points where you just couldn't shoot somebody off of it. This is a nice bit of a twist because it kind of saves them the trouble also of needing to balance every single map for every single game mode. So yeah, I really like this game mode. To be honest, I'm probably going to spend a lot of time in this playlist, probably in the bigger modes, like 10v10, 12v12, 14v14 on this mode in particular. This is probably going to be my shit for most of the year. Because like even with the problems with the spawns that I just listed and all that stuff, like it's still just fun. You know what I mean? Dude, look at this, man. Like look at these spawns. This is absurd. My team is literally spawning on top of their team. Like this logic doesn't make any fucking sense. But yeah, even that aside and the sniping being kind of subpar, it's still just fun, you know? It's fun to just be thrown into a map with all these people. You're really close quarters, lots of action. What? How does that miss? That's another thing. I think the bullet tracking might be a bit wonky with this game. I'm not entirely sure, but it kind of feels that way sometimes. Like, not even with the snipers only. It happens to me with red guns as well, where sometimes I'll be shooting at somebody and it feels like a couple bullets just, like, don't hit them. But they should. Dude, these spawns, man, please. I am begging. Oh my God. What's happening? Help. Dude, they're all, they're literally all just spawning back there. I just spawned over there. Oh yeah, the other thing that I haven't really been liking is the flinch. Like, once again, this is actually not an issue completely localized to snipers. It's every single weapon class. The flinch in this game is obnoxious. Like, even if you're using fully autos, if you have like a sight on them, dude, you get kicked to the fucking sky if you take one bullet in damage. I don't even know what's happening. Oh, that's one more thing, by the way. This machine pistol, which is like the first secondary you actually unlock, this thing right here might be the biggest piece of shit that I have ever used in the history of Call of Duty. I don't know if I have ever used any weapon, primary, secondary, or whatever, that you have to land a full clip into somebody or get a headshot in order to kill them. Because that's literally what it is. If you don't hit all 10 bullets of this fucking thing, you're not killing anybody. You're just gonna pump them all into them, and then you're gonna be stuck there reloading like an idiot, and they're just gonna spray you down. Like, that thing absolutely needs a buff of some kind. Anyway, I think I'll wrap this one up here. I'm gonna try and get out a video every single day of this beta, so I'll have one out tomorrow, one for Sunday, and then I'll probably have one out Monday as well. And like I said a couple times, now despite me complaining and all these like little things that I find wrong with it, I am actually having a lot of fun. We'll see if that continues as the weekend goes on. I mean, like I said, maybe the rose-colored glasses will fall off at some point. I'll be like, yeah, this thing's fucking shit, but for now, I'm having a good time. And as always, if you did enjoy this video, definitely be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you wanna come back for more content. That's about it. I'll see you guys in the next one.